What is up YouTube? My name is Chris and today I'm going to be talking about how to utilize outside libraries for inside of your AWS Lambda code. And in the specific example I'm going to be referencing today is using Python as the Lambda coding language and then requests as the library that we're trying to incorporate. And to be quite honest, this is a pretty intuitive process, um, but I was just working on it today and it took me a lot of time, um, way too much time. So uh, I just wanted to make this video. Maybe I can save some of you guys time and not be like me, a scrub. So without further ado, let's jump right into you, uh, lambdas. So we want to go to AWS lambdas and then uh, let's just create a lambda. We're feeling creative, um, request. And uh, not too creative with our naming though. And then we're choosing Python. We're gonna leave that as our architecture because to be quite honest, I don't know the difference between those two things. So um, don't tell anyone, but uh, created the function or at least press the button to create the function. And now it's created. So like I said, we want to use um, Requests for this example, and I don't know how to spell uh, requests. So uh, deploy it. That's how you save code, and then test it. Event, um, and we'll test it, and we get this error. There's no module name request. Um, runtime import module error. Um, because there's no library on AWS that is being referenced in terms of our code referencing it. And we solve that by um, creating a layer. And to do that, let's go to layers, uh, create a layer, and then we'll say requests layer, and then we'll give it a version. I don't know what the version is right now, um, but we want a zip file and we just want to um, upload that zip file for the layer. Um, but first we have to create that zip file. And honestly, most of this process is that, just getting to the point where we have that zip file. Um, so first, let me delete these folders off my uh, desktop. And we're gonna open up some sort of shell. I, I like to use PowerShell. Let's move my mic closer to me in case I sound like a ghost. Um, I like to use PowerShell. Inside of PowerShell, I like to use WSL2. And then um, for the next step, let's, I want to use the desktop to make things easier. Uh, let's make a Python directory. Let's uh, move into the Python directory. And uh, we, we have to call, if we're, if we're using Python as our coding language, we have to call the folder Python because that's what AWS Lambdas is expecting. Um, and that's in the documentation that I'll link in the description of this video. So we CD into the Python folder, and then we want to install the um, requests. Uh, so we want to do that, uh, this T argument that specifies target location. So we install requests into the target location period. And period, if you don't know, just means the current directory, which is uh, in this case, Python on my desktop. And then after we do that, let's just CD out of it. And then we want to zip this bad boy up like so. And what this does, we say zip and then pass it that R, R uh, flag because that does it recursively. So it zips recursively. If there's a folder within a folder within a folder, all that stuff gets zipped. And then um, it does so into the destination python.zip from the origin Python, which is just the folder. And then we're left with this, a beautiful dandy uh, zip folder. So we no longer need this. And we can upload this right here. And then I also, like I said, uh, I'm a man of my word. I want to include this version. I like to document these things. Um, so it's 2.28.1. 2.28.1. Okay, uh, uploaded, documented, architectured, runtimed, created. So yeah, really not too many steps in this process. After we create the, create the layer, 
then all that's left is incorporating that layer. So we'll go into that lambda we just made, which was not that lambda, bad lambda, and then um, click that, click that, click that, boom. You could also do an ARN, which is the, uh, the specific Amazon resource name associated with that layer, and that's just available on the layer page. Um, it should just be um, in a box somewhere over there. So let's add that request layer, and that should only take a couple of seconds. And now that that's done, we still have this import statement. If you see, we'll test it to see the result, and boom, no error. We're error free since 2023. I'm ahead of time. Um, excuse my foolishness. So hopefully you learned something here. If you didn't, well, this probably wasn't the video for you, and I apologize. Um, uh, <laughs> regardless, um, thank you for watching, and hope you check out some of my other videos. And hope you have a great day. Peace.